Trump golf course reportedly gave undocumented workers fake green cards. Trump shuts down the government, but he prefers workers strike over government shutdown. President Trump promised to build a wall and that Mexico would pay for it. After failing for two years to get Mexico or a Republican Congress to fund it, he has caused a government shutdown to try to force the new Democratic House to fund it. He says he's willing to let workers go without pay for months or even years. During the shutdown, Trump gives an Oval Office address about what he calls the border crisis. During his government shutdown, the president gives his first Oval Office address, in which he repeats his demand that Congress fund his wall. He also repeats his many lies about the crisis at the border, and once again stokes fear of undocumented immigrants, whom he depicts as rapists and murderers. Federal agencies tell employees to get creative to survive the Trump shutdown. <laughs> Trump hid from his own administration the content of his private Putin meetings. Trump hid the details of five private meetings with Putin, even from his own staff. Also, the New York Times reports the FBI felt it had reason to believe Trump was a Russian asset. In other news, aides say Trump wanted to pull out of NATO in 2018. Trump did not want Puerto Rico to receive a single dollar in disaster relief. Trump told then White House Chief of Staff John F. Kelly and then Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney that he did not want a single dollar going to Puerto Rico. Instead, he wanted more of the money to go to Texas and Florida. 
GOP Senator Joni Ernst says her husband assaulted her years ago. The president intimidates Michael Cohen into delaying his congressional testimony. The FBI arrests and indicts former Trump advisor Roger Stone. FBI arrests former Trump advisor Roger Stone. He's the 35th person in Trump's orbit to either be indicted or to plead guilty. So far. The U.S. is backing an attempted coup in Venezuela. Trump mocks global warming in a tweet about the polar vortex that's freezing America. Climate change models predicted that thanks to global warming, the world would suffer more extreme weather, including hotter summers and colder winter storms. A polar vortex is currently causing much of America to experience Arctic temperatures. So the president tweets, what the hell is going on with global warming? Please come back fast, we need you. If you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You might be able to see my work in your local paper, or you could follow it at Comics Kingdom, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Finally, if you want to see more work like this, please consider being a patron at patreon.com slash Darren Bell. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>